Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on using the distributive property and you have some exponents. So let's get started. Okay. So with the distributive property, basically you're multiplying, you're distributing this. And so you're multiplying the 2x squared times the 4x and multiplying the 2x squared times the 7y. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the um, exponent is attached to the variable and not the coefficient also. So basically what we're doing is we're going 2 times 4, which is 8, and then we have like bases, x and x. So when you have like bases and exponents, this technically will be a 1. So we're going to bring the x over, and we're going to add the exponent. So we have 2 plus 1, which equals 3. Then we're going to bring down the operator, and then we have 2 times 7, which is 14. Now, there is not an x here, so we're just going to bring it over. And then we bring the y down. Okay? Now, it is in, in the correct format in that you want it in descending order. So there's what we have for the first problem. Now, let's take a look at this one. Again, we have the same thing. We're going to distribute the 10x. Okay? And so, oops, I missed it just a little bit. There we go. So we have 10 times 5, which is 50. 5 does not have an x, so we're just going to bring it down. Then we're going to add that. 10 times 7 is 70. Okay, we have like bases, x and x. Technically, they both have a 1 here, so it is 1 plus 1, which equals 2. Okay, and then we're going to go... 10 times 2, which is 20, and then we have an x. There's no x here, so we're just going to bring it down like this. Now it looks like we might be able to combine some like terms. So we have 50x and 20x, so we can combine the like terms. So we have 70x plus 70x squared, and then let's go ahead and write it in descending order. So we have 70x squared because we're doing it based on the exponent plus 70x. I hope that was helpful in distributing, using the distributive property with um, variables and exponents. Thanks for watching.